In this video, we'll be discussing the Wilcoxon rank sum test. Suppose we have two groups that are not normally distributed. And so let's say group 1 is equal to the numbers 1 through 10. And group 2 is equal to the numbers, let's say, 2 through 11. So the groups are not that different. The way in which we perform the Wilcoxon rank sum test in R is we'll type Wilcox.test. And then the first input is group 1. So first we're going to run the groups. And then, so the first input is group 1. The second input is group 2. And then we're going to run this. And we see the p-value is 0.49, which is not significant, which is expected because 1 to 10, you know, vastly overlaps with 2 through 11. So let's now change the groups. Let's say group 1. Uh, we'll keep group 1 the same, and we'll we'll make group 2, 3 through 12. And let's see how this changes the p-value. Okay, so the p-value is lower now, 0.18. So let's make one more change and make group 2, 5 through 15. So if we run this, you see that the p-value is now 0 0.01. And so this is the level at which, you know, this p-value is now below the, if we use the 0 0.05 threshold of significance, so this is now, the groups are now significantly different. And so this is how you would conduct a Wilcoxon rank sum test in R. Thanks for watching.